there's great wisdom in the teachings of Jesus and I agree with those teachings. In a mind-blowing interview billionaire investor and CEO Elon Musk just shared some ground-shattering details about his views on the rapture and Christianity. Since the dawn of Christianity the rapture has been viewed as the climax of all events the end of the world as we know it wrapped in a web of mystery prophecy and contradictory facts. This world-ending phenomenon has been subjected to intense criticism by many while being dreaded and revered by others. But now Elon Musk's unbiased view seem to disrupt everything the general public believes about the rapture and its cataclysmic events. What did Elon Musk say about the rapture and what makes this event so critical and primal to our existence is the rapture actually real join us in this video as Elon Musk warns that the rapture is going to happen very soon. Christianity is one of the most popular and enthralling religions in our world today. The followers of Christ believe in the life and death of a Saviour Jesus Christ abiding by his teachings in the Holy Bible with the hopes of one day transitioning to a place of eternal rest heaven. Biblical descriptions of heaven present it as a magnificent city with streets of gold mansions of immaculate beauty and structures made from rare elements never seen by mankind with lovely angels in beautifully adorned garments for the saints terrific beasts and unparalleled perfection beyond imagination. Heaven promises to be a place of awesome wonder and splendor a home beyond the stars for the saints of God. However before the great transition to this wonderland a somewhat terrifying event must take place the rapture. The enigmatic event is said to mark the end of the world as we know it ushering in Armageddon a period of true chaos anarchy and utter destruction. The puzzling thing about the rapture is that no one knows when it will happen. In fact while on earth Jesus Christ the Son of God and the Christian Messiah admitted to not knowing the date. This mesmerizing scenario has made many doubt if the rapture is actually a thing or if it's just a weird construct to incite fear in the hearts of men to do good. Many weird conspiracy theorists even claim that the rapture has already happened adding that the many tales of woe and disaster in our world today are evidence of this fact. But then certain details don't add up in these conspiracies. For one the Christian rapture is slated to mark the end of the world and usher in Armageddon a time when the devil and his demons would rule the earth. Secondly according to Christian Bible references the rapture will be accompanied by many shocking events like a magnificent trumpet sounding Jesus appearing in the sky with his angels several people disappearing all over the world and many folks rising from the dead to meet him in the sky. All these magnanimous events have never been recorded in the history of humankind and so many believe that the rapture is yet to come. The many anticipated evils of the end times have been a major topic of discussion in many Christian forums. Controversies have popped up over the years as to what evidence exists that the world is currently in these end times and so far there hasn't been a middle ground. Yet one movement in the 16th century called Futurism actually holds that end time prophesies would be fulfilled in the distant future with events like the rise of the Antichrist preceding it. Although it's been hundreds of years since this movement was formed the second coming is still yet to happen. Over the years many alarming prophesies have emerged warning about the second coming. Some of these prophesies even spurred certain factions and individuals to engage in odd practices in preparation for the Messiah's return. For example when the Puritans founded the Massachusetts Bay Colony they had in mind that they were preparing a place for Jesus to stay upon his arrival. But they were dumbfounded when the Messiah never showed up. Nonetheless this didn't stop a massive surge of evangelism promoting the notion that the second coming of Christ is imminent. Amidst all this many continued to make shocking predictions. For example William Miller predicted that the second coming would take place in 1843 so he founded several Adventist churches in preparation. However it came as a big blow to him and his followers when his prediction turned out to be completely false. Nonetheless the concept of the rapture kept spreading like wildfire. Today nearly 200 years after William Miller's uncanny prediction the Messiah's second coming is still a mystery. The unfortunate turnout of individuals who dared to predict the rapture led many non-Christians to lose faith in the prophecy and even in God. Many people found it unreal for a world-ending event of that scale that has been preached a thousand times and prophesied a million times to still be lingering up until now. The enigmatic circumstances around the rapture have led to the creation of several disparities even within the scientific community. For one, many believe the rapture and the second coming are two very separate events. Many Christian factions argue that the rapture will be a top-secret event, with the trumpet sounding and only the saints hearing the clarion call, followed by a sudden disappearance of these same saints as they get caught up in the air with the Lord. 
These groups of Christians believe that after this rapture will come the Great Tribulation and then finally the Second Coming. The Second Coming, according to this school of thought, will be a time of judgment when Jesus Christ will judge all the wickedness on the earth. During this epic encounter, the devil, his angels, demons, spirits, and all humans who didn't choose Christ will be cast into the lake of fire to perish forever and ever. Most Christian denominations also argue that the second coming would be the time when a new heaven and a new earth will be created for Christ and his saints to dwell happily ever after. Not all believers agree on the sequence of events. Some folks argue that the rapture and the second coming will occur simultaneously, with some even projecting that the rapture will occur after the tribulation. These bodies of believers see the rapture as a rescue mission to take the children of God away from the destruction. The enigmatic situation becomes all the more complex when you consider that no scripture gives in detail the exact order of events, only bits and pieces. Even after putting all the pieces together, there seem to be missing pieces of the puzzle, thanks to the Bible's affinity for deep insights and hidden meanings. In the end billions of people all over the world including high-profile individuals like Elon Musk find themselves intertwined in the elusive concept of the rapture despite not being believers in the faith. To Elon Musk conversations like these not only hold great significance for him alone but for humanity as a whole. You see while many may not be Christians none can deny the fact that the details in the Bible's account of the rapture are very disturbing. According to 1 Thessalonians for verse 15 17, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise. 1 First Thessalonians for verse 17 Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. This passage paints a vivid picture of Christ descending from heaven amid celestial trumpet sounds and earthly commotion with those who have died in the faith as faithful believers rising up from their graves. Those who are alive will also be transfigured and both parties will ascend to meet the Saviour in the clouds. Just so you know the captivating story depicted in the scripture is akin to the events that befell humanity in the days of Noah. The story of Noah is one of the most dreadful and mind-blowing stories in the Bible telling of a time when God had to wipe out all of humanity due to their grave sin and wickedness. The only survivors of this cataclysmic event were Noah and his family. According to the Bible the men and women in Noah's time mocked him when he told them tales of how he was building a mega-sized boat to escape a world-ending rainfall. The people kept laughing eating and drinking and going about their business as usual until the day disaster struck. Noah's rescue boat was the only saving grace for him his family and the creatures that were on board. Scholars have verified that the circumstances surrounding the event of the rapture will be quite similar to what occurred in the days of the flood. Humanity would be very preoccupied with basic activities, unaware of the sudden judgment to come. But then, when the life-changing experience occurs only the raptured would be saved. It would be too late for the humans left behind. As for the humans left behind several theories have been drawn up from scripture to explain what would be their fate. Although these theories are similar there are many uncanny differences in opinions and the sequential order of events. Certain events like the mark of the beast and the millennial reign of Christ have always been up for debate as no one knows clearly how things would go. A widespread belief known as Kiliasm holds that after the rapture several centuries will pass. This means the unlucky folks who weren't raptured would be forced to live on earth abandoned by God with the devil ultimately ruling in power and dominion over the affairs of men. Kiliasm also proposes that Christ will later return to earth to reign for 1,000 years with the saints before the final judgment takes place. However it isn't. A unanimous opinion as others believe that the final judgment and the destruction of humanity will happen right after the rapture. Although many scholars believe that the order of events cannot be ascertained one key phenomenon is always the center of debate the mark of the beast. Many religious experts have raised concerns about the mark of the beast and many have written controversial articles on it. However none can deny that the Bible is very clear on what will happen with regard to this mark and the subsequent great tribulation.